The week in federal politics has been dominated by the fight over Labor's proposed tax hike for multi-million dollar superannuation balances. Now, it's complicated. The opposition leader is accusing the Defence Minister of not being across the finer detail. Political reporter Olivia Kaisley has more. In the firing line over the government's superannuation change, Richard Miles under attack for struggling to explain the finer details. Well, we're, we're, I mean, what we're talking about now is, is those super funds, which largely are in the self-managed superannuation fund system. A process will be determined for that. And you agreed to this crazy plan. I mean, if you don't understand the detail, how on earth can the Australian public understand what it is you're proposing? Fending off accusations, the super tweaks haven't been thought through. It is so undercooked and yet they're out there trying to sell a dead horse. Shadow Finance Minister Jane Hume flagging the opposition will move to amend the controversial policy. I'm absolutely certain that we'll be moving all sorts of amendments to this because this is really bad legislation. It's going to be bad legislation. But the Defence Minister hit back, accusing the opposition of attacking a policy that will only impact the top end of town. You see the Leader of the Opposition wanting to storm the Bastille and I think that says everything about his priorities. The Super Wars reignited this week over the government's decision to double the tax rate for super fund balances above $3 million. The opposition is concerned the policy will impact way more than the 80000 predicted by Treasury. That's because it isn't indexed to inflation. So, in years to come, many more will have super balances over $3 million. The Treasurer says a future government may increase the cap. Labor MP Daniel Molino says that could mean it's eventually indexed. I'm confident that the $3 million will be altered within the next 50 years. It's, it's entirely plausible that within 10 years uh, the government of the day would look at Another element causing a stir is Treasury's proposal to tax the gains made over the course of a financial year. Critics say that could force people to sell assets to pay tax on the notional income. Olivia Kaisley, Sky News, Canberra.